When most people hear anarchy, they think of burning cars, smashed windows, and a rabid hatred for bi-monthly organizational meetings. And that's just not accurate. Anarchists, at the end of the day, simply believe in the fact that people tend to behave the way you treat them and that they are perfectly capable of behaving in a reasonable manner if you let them. The thing anarchists think that stopping people from behaving smart, friendly, and pleasant at all times are power structures, both in the sense that power corrupts and in the sense that the victims of this corruption are then forced to do things they would never dream of doing to survive, which in turn enables those in power to justify staying in power, which leads to a never-ending spiral. Boiling it down, anarchists take the common principles most people ascribe to themselves, democracy, freedom for all, common decency, and empathy, etc., etc., and take them to their logical conclusion. That's a line of thought considered more than dangerous to those in power, but, on paper, is very appealing to many people. Maybe even you. Consider the following. If there's a line in the supermarket, do you wait your turn and refrain from elbowing your way past others, even in the absence of police? If you answered yes, then that's acting like an anarchist. The most basic anarchist principle is self-organization. The assumption that human beings do not need to be threatened with prosecution or violence in order to be able to come to reasonable understandings with each other or to treat each other with dignity and respect. Are you a member of a club or charity or any other voluntary organization where decisions are not imposed by one leader but made on the basis of general consent? If you answered yes, then you belong to an organization that works on anarchist principles. Another basic anarchist principle is voluntary association. This is a matter of applying democratic principles to ordinary life, not just politics. The only difference is that anarchists believe it should be possible to have a society in which everything could be organized along these lines, all groups based on the free consent of their members. Every time you reach an agreement by consensus rather than threats, every time you make a voluntary arrangement with another person, come to an understanding or reach a compromise by considering the other person's particular situation or needs, you are being an anarchist even if you don't realize it. Do you believe that most politicians are selfish, corrupt assholes who don't really care about the public interest? Do you think we live in an economic system that is stupid and unfair? The only difference is that most people don't think there's anything you can do about it. Do you really believe those things you tell your children or that your parents told you? It doesn't matter who started it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Clean up your own mess. Do unto others. Don't be mean to people just because they're different. Perhaps we should decide whether we're lying to our children when we tell them about right or wrong, or whether we're willing to take the, our own claims seriously. Because if you take these moral principles to their logical conclusion, you arrive at anarchism. And these are the four tenets of anarchism. Self-organization, voluntary association, a continued questioning of authority, and trying to live by the morals you set for yourself. If you have more questions or interest in the subject, I highly recommend the anarchistlibrary.org and or r slash anarchy one on one. Both very great for finding free reading material. The subreddit answers any, any good faith question, so don't worry about asking anything stupid in there.